So last year, my friends and I went on a trip to Chikmangalore. Now, this was a very spontaneous trip, guys. We hadn't really planned anything. We didn't know what we were going to do or what places to look for. It was a very interesting trip for us. So I thought, why not make a video and share this experience with you guys. Normally we all tend to go on trips that are meticulously planned, you know, with all the bucket list items ready to be checked off and really just being another tourist to a place. Well, I'm not a big fan of that. So the weekend was coming up, instead of heading out to a party, we just thought, well, fuck it, let's just head out somewhere. The initial idea was to capture some good footage, get some content for our social media and probably make a video, which is the one you're watching right now. Weirdly, we all had our reasons for this trip. I was trying to make this video, Arun was getting cool pictures on his phone and Raven wanted a cool place to do his yoga photo shoot and Satvik was looking for inspiration for his write-ups. It was a different kind of trip, uh, you might as well call it a content trip kind of almost beats the purpose of going on an offbeat trip, but yeah. It was around 6 when we left home and we had made a quick stop for breakfast at Cafe County. And one of my favorite things about Cafe County is the cold coffee. If you ever go to Cafe County, do try it. So we took it slow. And we reached our homestay that was pretty much in the middle of a beautiful tea estate. So we dropped our luggage and uh, freshened up and headed out to explore. And guys, it was beautiful. You know, as I said, this homestay is pretty much in the middle of a plantation and everywhere you see it's just like green and the weather was perfect that day. Uh, there was a slight drizzle, super foggy, you couldn't really see anything, but it was just beautiful. Man. We got back to the homestay, it had gotten dark, we chilled out for a while in our room and headed out to sit near the campfire. The gentle heat of the campfire along with the slight drizzle, it was, it was really something else. So we, we drank a bit of homemade wine. And we just sat there deep in our own thought. So the next day we had breakfast headed out towards Rani Jerry. So we had heard about this place called Rani Jari from one of our favorite YouTube creators called GoPro Man. Now he makes awesome videos on these really offbeat places that almost no one knows. So go and check his videos out guys, it's really amazing. So we had to drive through narrow roads up until we reached uh, the highest point upon which we had to walk the rest of the way to the viewpoint. And the path to the viewpoint guys 
And there were these huge trees everywhere. Everything was super dark and moody and crazy shots. We got these amazing shots and uh, finally we started climbing towards the viewpoint. Look at this dude! We waited around 15 minutes and finally we could see that fog was clearing up a bit. It was wonderful guys, it was almost like one of those scenes in the Jurassic Park movies. There were a few birds flying over the cliff. The fog would like clear for a second and you know the next thing everything will be covered up again. And it was it was really beautiful. You might have expected a really epic journey and a really crazy experience in this offbeat, unplanned adventure, but honestly it was something very different for us. We hadn't really accomplished any missions, you know, we hadn't really covered the most places in a day or do everything exactly according to our plans because we didn't have any plans. We tried to experience Chikmangur as a local I would. So, you know, I just found all these footage that were going wasted and I thought let's make a small video for you guys. For all the information about the homestays, the prices, the locations we had visited, I have a blog about this very experience. You can go ahead and check it out in the description below. So if you like this video, do subscribe. I'll see you in the next video, guys.